Greetings everyone, it's your host Reed, and you're watching M-O-I, and welcome to the SHTF Podium. Now, today, we have a somewhat serious topic, because history is rhyming, and we need to talk about it. Now, back a while, we had a major foe the country and the whole world had to face. It's these guys. Can I have some music there? Now that you've got the hint about what we're going to talk about, kind of trying to avoid some algorithm spotting things, let's discuss what is going on. Now back in the time before the lead up to World War II, there was a lot of rhetoric being tossed around. All sorts of stuff where they were discussing evil people. And in fact, the rhetoric got so bad, these people became non-people, subhumans and everything like that. And they used it as a way to morally justify all the atrocities they committed, to make it morally justifiable to do what they wanted to do, and to commit some of the worst and most horrific crimes the world has ever seen. And it's a big issue, right? Now this is why I'm saying history is rhyming. Look at today, modern world and all that. The world is inoculated very hard against these guys. They're always on the lookout for them, trying to spot them and everything else. So if we're going to have a repeat of history, it's not going to be from a party like that. Not even similar. they got to go to it from a different direction. And that's like that. But history doesn't really repeat. It's been brought up many times. It rhymes. But look what we got going on today. We hear about all these things of Republicans are horrible, evil people. They're the, wor the cause of all the greatest evils in the entire world. Behind everything evil and horrific, there's a conservative and a Republican out there. You hear that rhetoric a lot. And that's providing the moral justification for a lot of actions going on. Look at the violence we've got going on. You've got Antifa out there beating people up, smashing windows, destroying things, burning things down, causing, you know, basically terrorist activity all over the place and functioning like a domestic terrorist group. However, they are not getting, you know, really going after with the resources the country would have to deal with this like other groups. They seem to enjoy a special protection going on there. However, you look at the other side, we've got the NRA being labeled as a domestic terrorist organization by a city. 28% of Democrats saying it should be illegal to even join the NRA. And in fact, what's even more scary in the poll, which link will be in the description for you to go check it out, where they talk about this poll and study, like 12% of Republicans also said you should be illegal to join the NRA. Anyone remember that amendment where your rights are able to peacefully assemble and free to associate with whoever? Hmm, got an issue there, right? They don't seem to even understand that. And we see a lot of other rhetoric talking about people and how bad the conservative group is and how bad a particular colored group of men are horrible, hideous, unbelievably scourge of the entire earth. And, you know, talking about they want to remove all of them from the entire earth, how we want to get rid of all these people. And we see a lot of stuff where they're using rhetoric to dehumanize people, make them less than human that it is the righteousness of these people to get rid of these other people. And they're not even calling them people anymore. Responsible for all the climate change that's going to destroy the entire world and the justification for impending doom that we must, it's the moral imperative, remove these people. Now I consider this a very disturbing trend. It's mirroring the propaganda that we saw at the lead up to World War II greatly. We're seeing all sorts of stuff going on, and you're seeing people being bolder and bolder in their actions. And I am highly, highly worried. So while people were highly inoculated against these guys, you weren't going to be expecting them. However, the rhetoric and everything else is rhyming and repeating so much that the people who are supposed to be the most against and all that stuff are lining up to about repeat what history has shown to lead to utter horror and greatest atrocities out there. Tough thing to think about, right? Seeing things develop this way. 
This is a very big, dangerous threat we're facing. If left unchecked, it's going to lead to a horrible, hideous rhyme of like the past. And it's going to result in all sorts of horrible, hideous atrocities being committed by people. Now, a lot of times you hear people say, oh, if I lived back then in Germany before World War II or during World War II, I would have completely stopped that. I would have fought against them. I would have saved all these people. Sadly, psychology is not on your side. There's a famous experiment. It shows literally how a person wearing a white lab coat with a small supposition of authority literally commanded people to shock other people to death. Now, of course, it was played out by an actress and all that, stuff like that, but the people really believed they were shocking someone to their death, and they did it. They willingly participated in that. Also, the cultural pressure, the societal pressure to go on this direction. And like when you see the schools churning out and the propaganda, and people joining up, all the people who were against this, wanted nothing to do with it, and didn't participate like that, they wanted to be quiet, let this pass, you know, don't rock the boat, don't draw attention, don't speak out and things. As the famous poem goes, eventually they were also come for. We gotta start rocking the boat. We gotta start speaking out. We gotta draw attention to this and we need to shut this down. We're gonna have a horrible, horrible rhyme. I mean, later we don't wanna see 100 years in the future, people looking in their history books and going, wow, look at how similar what happened in America was to what happened in World War II in Germany. Why didn't they realize what was going on? Why didn't they stop it? Where were all the people that were supposed to speak out on this? We gotta do something. We really do. Now, I don't really like to say, we gotta do something, and then end the video and just close off. I actually have ideas. One of the things are, for all the other YouTubers out there, start making videos and talking about this. We need to bring awareness to it. Yes, it will actually paint a target on us and we're going to get griped at, complained, called nutters. People are going to say, why in the world would you think that? It's never going to happen here. That can't happen. Wrong. Anything can happen anywhere. If the good people do nothing, bad things happen. Famous quote, all it takes for evil to triumph is good people to do nothing. Well, get out there and do something. So that's what I think. Start talking, bring this up talking about it. Now the other thing though is we need a concentrated voting block. I'm going to be bringing this up a lot more also. But a concentrated voting block is vitally necessary for us to be able to have a good line to which to defend against and to fight against this issue. Luckily this is the United States of America. There's many states. And what I think what we need to do is start doing a copy of the Free State Project. If you ever heard of it, link up in the description, check it out. But instead of doing a libertarian idea, this is sort of, you know, people of conservative values, values believing in the Constitution, self-defense, libertarians, any of that stuff, I'd be happy to have you. We need to identify good states and for strategic purposes and everything else, and we need to build a concentration of voters there so that we can elect and have strong governors and strong legislatures that are going to fight against this stuff. We need to come together. Yes. It means you're going to have to move. Yes, it means you're going to have to pick up stuff and get going. I'm probably going to have to move myself. Well, we're going to have to discuss what states are good. It'd be good to get a coalition of like 11 and to concentrate there. And I think with a strong voting block, it gives us very good options for negotiation and being able to keep a strong seat at the table to deal with the coming threats we're dealing with. Plus, worst comes to worse, there's other options that can be available then as well. But it's something we really need. So we need to elect the right people, get people in the, the office, and so that we can make certain the values and stuff like that that we believe in of America, of the Constitution, and the founding principles are well respected. And that we can have a good bargaining position to negotiate with at the table. It's important. Now, yes, I believe that negotiation and compromise at times is a four letter word, and you shouldn't participate. But that's a discussion for another time. But anyways, I wanted to bring this up of how badly history is rhyming later, lately. And we really have got to watch it. Make videos about this. Discuss it. And definitely talk with it to other people. Bring up. Look at the correlation here. So notice how these are really sounding the same. Look at the same thing and violence that was escalated. Show a lot of the similarities. It'll get people thinking. And it's important they start thinking about this. I hope I got you to think, 
And I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments and to discuss this idea and give me some ideas on states. I'll make another video about possible states real soon and we can start the discussion there. And then we can start identifying places. Like I said, I'm looking for good people and I want to bring a bunch of us together. But in truth, we need millions to congregate in areas, millions of conservatives. So we need to build industries, build jobs, do tons and tons of work. And I can't do it alone, so I need your help. Take care, everyone. This is Reed, out for now. Don't rock the boat. We gotta start rocking the boat. Oh my gosh. <laughs>